Hey yo, what is up, my fellow Tarhans? I'm Captain Beans, and welcome back to Operation Hard Fleet. So, right now, we have just taken a bunch of cities around Hiva, and now we're going to make some final preparations and adjustments and whatnot, and then we are going to take Hiva. And we will finish the campaign. Maybe we won't finish the campaign in this episode, but at least we will start the finish today. So, what we're exactly gonna do is um, we're, go we're just going to regroup our entire fleet in Gabata right here because it is the fast repair place. Um, there, we're going to resupply any ships that need resupplying, install anything that we need to install, um, i.e. missiles and planes and stuff. And then right after we do that, we also send a bunch of uh, quick ships into Intel cities so that they can then be useful and tell, uh, well, I mean, give us Intel. And from there, we're going to attack Hiva and send a bunch of other ships into different cities to guard. Uh, you'll realize later why we're gonna do it that way. But okay, let's uh, get to regrouping the fleet. So, Varyag, come here. You guys, come here as well. Oh wait, you guys don't have enough fuel, okay. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck is that? Is that a cargo convoy? Or is that a missile carrier? No, that's a missile carrier. It would not be running uh, towards us like that. It would not be running towards us like that. That's a missile carrier. Okay, let's kill it then. Motherfucker trying to run away. Come here. I'm not even gonna use prox fuses on you. That was unexpe unexpected, completely. Um, actually, you know what? You guys don't salvage anything. Uh, just come back to this squadron. Same with you. Yeah, okay. Uh, one other problem is that we are kind of low on money. I might have to sell some things. Maybe maybe even some ships that I don't think I would need, but... I think every ship that I have right now is going to be useful one way or another. So I guess all I'm going to sell is probably stuff that I don't need, really. Like extra parts um, that I'm not going to install or anything like that. So okay, right here I'm just going to install any missiles I need to install, fix any ships I need to fix, um, and also figure out where and who and how to send uh, all of the ships before we even take Hiva. So, yeah. I'm gonna be right back. Hmm. One thing I could do with this Mockingbird is turn it into a different ship. 
not an egret, I think, but I think something would be more useful is um, a cheerful. So a missile carrier. I could just put a couple of missile silos on the mockingbird and call it a day. So, okay, I guess antennas fuck off. I guess I'm putting missile silos on this ship. Yeah. I'm gonna need a lot of missile carriers this uh, for this Mockingbird. Uh, actually, hold up. Maybe it's not a good idea to put it like this. Maybe... How should I put my missiles? Okay, let's take off this stuff. I'm gonna make it into a pure missile carrier ship. Right, okay. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is gonna take a long time. Um, but I think if I land each and every ship that I need to reinstall and like refit, um, it should be fine. So yeah. Uh, I don't think we need any sort of generators. As a matter of fact, I think I can put more missile silos in here. Put a couple of these missiles also. Yeah, basically I just turned a Mockingbird into a missile carrier. Which I kind of like. Yeah, so I think I'm gonna do this and yeah, so there it is, the Mockingbird Missile Carrier. You're welcome. Now, okay, um, all of the things are being repaired, installed and whatnot. Um, now we are just facing the financial problem. We have little money left. And I cannot afford to completely refuel the entire fleet so that they so that each um, ship can go a certain directions um, and so because of this I might have to make a very very rash decision which I I know you might hate it but it's necessary And what decision am I referring to? It's these guys right here. The lightnings. On one hand, they could be useful later on. But on the other hand, you know what? I think it's about time that these guys um, have uh, finished their service in the Beans Navy on this expedition. So you know what? Lightnings, farewell. It was an honor to completely wreck you every time we get into a garrison. So yeah, goodbye. There you go, we got some money back. And yeah, all we have to do is just refuel and wait for these missiles and stuff to get installed. So yeah, I'll see you there. What we can do is send a couple of ships which are ready into places where they could be useful. So, for example, uh, we could send this Nadezhda with the Eland into this town, Khash, so that they can gather intelligence. And I'm pretty, and I'm just gonna do this with all of the tankers like this. Mm. 
Yeah, so both of these guys are going to go into Hush and Nimrud, these tankers. They are going to supply us with intelligence for later on. Um, and what we also could do is send a nomad down south into either Rafat or Masada. I think Rafat might be a better place to go. Or actually, no, Masada its the only place where it even can go. And I'm going to attach with it a Cheerful. So you guys just head that direction. The rest of the fleet, I think it's they're going to go assault Hiva. And what about the Novgorods? Well, they're going to fight the garrison. The flagship is probably going to stay in Hiva, as well as a bunch of others. Varyag might stay in Hiva. Um, but I think everyone else will just be sent um, anywhere if need be. So yeah, right now I'm just going to send these ships there. And then let's just wait for more repairs to finish. Actually, you tanker just stay out of town for just a second. Okay, so let's just wait on repairs and stuff. Okay, now let's just get everything organized and ready to go. All right, hands aloft and bear away. We are taking Hiva. Let's go! The big battle of the big city! Alright, so we're gonna go in with a single Novgorod. We'll see if we can not get one of those destroyed. We might have to switch the ships because this one could get so damaged that it might be bad. Fuck. This Novgorod is already being damaged so much by armor piercing and missiles. Might have to fly towards the retreat arrow. Yeah, I think it's about time. You get out of my way. Luckily, this ship has a lot of perks, uh, including maneuverability, so... Right, yeah, second ship. Let's go. We got hit a little bit, but that's fine. It is still serviceable. Destroy this Archangel, come on. No 
most of these missiles. Alright. Let's go a bit more up. Destroy that slogger, he's using armor piercing. Fuck armor piercing. Ballistic, get the fuck out of here. still going strong. Our armor at the bottom is a little weak. And also we're being completely pounded by rockets. But everything is fine. We are in a ship brick made of armor so we can just relax and just shoot this flower. Ooh, damn, that was actually a pretty epic battle. Alright, we've taken the city. Hiva is ours. Alright. Alright, we've taken Hiva. We have um, prepared ourselves for... Um, well, you realize what it's gonna be, but yeah, now salvage operations, and after that, we're going to land our ships in Hiva, and we're going to finish our campaign. Okay, here we go. Unbelievable news soon spreads throughout the city. The Lord Governor has stepped down. Great Duke Sayedi has entered the city in the company of the Elahu Prince. And his ally is Omar Khan, a man everyone thought dead. The entire city comes to greet you. What a spectacular sight. As soon as you arrive, the Lord Governor takes you to the underground storage complex. Next to the majestic dome of the reactor is an underground passageway. You walk down a flight of stairs. The storage area below is filled with uniform cylinders. They are stacked throughout the underground chamber as far as the eye can see. Piotr casts a brooding glance to the side, where missile parts glimmer in the dull light. The steel knit arms of assembly cranes obscure the ceiling which stretches far into the dark facility. They'll never let us leave with this. I made a terrible mistake. There will be no talks. Piotr was right. An ultimatum arrives soon after. To the commander of the Romani expeditionary fleet, the Elad gathering of Gerat houses hereby demands that you withdraw all Romani ships from Hiva immediately. You have eight hours co to comply, or the joint fleet of Gerat houses will destroy the city through nuclear strike. They'll spare nothing. Everything they have, they'll send our way. Builder, call an emergency meeting. Get everyone in the Beans Navy over here. The beginning of nuclear war. <laughs> the beginning of the fun times. <laughs> the fleet officers and Tarhans assemble on the flagship 30 minutes later. Thank you for coming, gentlemen. I know how tired you are. But the predicament we now face is grave indeed. Hiva's garrison officer has provided us with intelligence about the weapon that reduced the Imperial capital to ruins. We didn't coerce him, he told us because he believes the gathering is planning to use this weapon to destroy Hiva. 
The poor man was absolutely terrified. He insisted again and again that everyone here is in grave danger. This new weapon is a ballistic missile. It features an unparalleled trajectory correction system that allows it to strike targets as far as 2,000 kilometers away. As a ballistic missile, this weapon cannot be used against mobile targets. However, it is absolutely devastating against stationary ones. Its speed is sufficient to strike its target in just over 10 minutes. These missiles are to be delivered in Gerat on two specially made carrier cruisers. Each of them can carry up to 10 of these missiles. Look at that picture. That's actually really cool. I've marked the ship's potential destinations on the map. They will be able to launch a strike against Hiva if they dock anywhere within 2000 kilometers of their target. These are all the cities that could be used to launch a missile strike against Hiva. If we intercepted both carriers before either of them reaches any of the cities on the map, Hiva will be safe from this new weapon. We still have the enemy strike groups to deal with, however. Their missiles are slow, but they have enough of them to reduce this place to a pile of radioactive ash. Can't we just intercept these new missiles before they hit the city and the ships, if we have a reliable radar and enough anti-air missiles? But the anti-air system won't be able to intercept a high-speed ballistic missile. But what if we use A100N? An A100N? In theory, it could blast a ballistic missile if we detect it quickly enough. Pyotr falls silent and looks at you. Everyone in the room turns to face you. Well then, gentlemen, with this new information in mind, each of us has to make a decision. You are free to leave this city, or stay and fight to the end. Your words echo in a deafening silence. To those of you who choose to leave, I promise you that we will not stand in your way. I'm ready to die for your sake, if I must, Saidi. The Khan's fleet will join you. We've been through so much together, Grand Duke. The LO dynasty is on your side. The hidden people will join your cause, son of Saidi. Wait, what? How are you alive? What? Um... How exactly are you alive? Okay, never mind, that's still good. The guardsmen of Gerat will stand with you, Grand Duke. Bro, I don't even know you, what the fuck? So will the pirates. Like the others, I put my life in your hands, Duke. Alright then, gentlemen, Godspeed.